Good morning. Uh, I would like to welcome you all again on behalf of World Academy. My name is Edith Chepney. I am a professor of macroeconomics, but during the last five or six years, I have been teaching strategic foresight as well. So I'm grateful to Gary and all the members of Academy to invite me to this amazing uh, uh, roundtable meeting. I have just, if you don't mind, a short presentation. Um, can we go very fastly? Okay, there are some sayings. The first one, uh, you know, I think we all know this. Uh, once Churchill gave a speech in 1947 and said, it has been said that democracy is the worst form of government, except for all those other forms that have been tried from time to time. And Abraham Lincoln said, democracy is the government of the people, by the people, for the people. And also he said, the ballot is stronger than the bullet. Mm -hmm. um, so democracy, I think, is a universally recognized ideal and goal. And it is shared by uh, many uh, communities, irrespective of their cultural, political, social, economic differences. <coughs> Uh, although there is no consensus on its definition, uh, there are a lot, there is no consensus on it, but there are some main characteristics of democracy that we can underline. So what are these? Legal equality, rule of law, freedom. This freedom can be in different uh, <coughs> subjects. Freedom of political expression, freedom of speech, freedom of the press. And there are some others. Uh, I did the same mistakes as many of us perhaps did, because at the first step we raised some uh, questions on the deficiencies of democracy. Uh, Gary, I'm grateful, corrected me, said, your topic is achievements of democracy. First, let's figure out what we achieved till today and how we can go further than this, or if we are where we are standing now. Are we going backward or how we can go forward? So then I changed my uh, document. And what are the other merits of democracy, tolerance to cultural differences, and preserving and promoting the dignity and fundamental rights of the individual uh, to achieve social justice, and civil and political rights to vote and to be elected, the rights of expression and assembly, access to information, with this we mean transparency, and the right to organize political parties, everyone can take a part in the management of public affairs, public accountability, checks and balances, independent judicial institutions, freedom of choice, and many more. Perhaps our nationalities, religions, colors are different, but we need to remember always that we are all human beings and we have got some common problems and interests. We need air to breathe, we need water to drink, we need materials for shelter, to wear, to enjoy, shortly to survive, so no need for us to ask for whom the bells tolls, we need to know that the bells are ringing for all of us. And I raised some questions. Can you go to the last one? Yes, these are the questions that I would like to uh, ask to you or to whether we can discuss on these questions or you can raise some other questions. How the interdependence between peace, economic development, respect for the rule of law and human rights can be examined? and how the relationship between strong economy and good democracy can be explained. What is the role of democracy and its institutions to keep the balance between diversity and uniformity, individuality and collectivity, to improve social cohesion and solidarity? And the final one is, what is the relationship between democracy and governance, good governance? You know, in the first week of May, there will be a conference in Paris. The title is the, um, the Better Governance or Governance, the Future of Governance, perhaps. I tried to complete my paper on this topic as well. Could you please show the last one? I raised the questions, and I think this is a very, I don't know who is the owner of the saying, but there is a very nice saying which says, we were all humans until race disconnected us, religion separated us, and politics divided us, and wealth classified us. So we are all human beings and ready to talk. I like this group because we discussed, you know, this is a normative subject. We couldn't 
prove whose idea is the best and the right. We couldn't test this. So very, in a very friendly, cooperative at atmosphere, we are discussing, exchanging ideas to find humanistic solutions to common problems of human beings. So I'm grateful to all of you and to the Academy and Gary and Alberto who invited me to, to this uh, meeting. So I will take my notes. I'm not going to talk anymore. I will do my homework and just will try to get your ideas. Thank you so much. <laughs>